So I seem to be having some small success accessing my emotions. Good. And I go to the spiritualist church. Yep. And um, but the next Sunday after that started, I um, the clairvoyant on platform came to me and said that um, this the church was full of filled with spirits and they were all excited about the work I was doing. And that um, or well, basically good things would happen and the church would get bigger and, and all that sort of stuff. And then before I, the next Sunday, I'd actually broken my leg. And that meant I couldn't um, cope at home and I went and stayed with my mother for a couple of months and wasn't able to get into it very much there at all, although I tried, I watched the DVDs a lot. And um, when I got back home, I thought I'd be able to just go back to where I left off when I was at home. I just seemed to have been really... Shut down. Yeah. Yep. And it was interesting law of attraction for you. Mm. Uh, the breaking of the egg meant you had to stay with your mother. Mm. Yes. And it's your mother that shut down your emotions. Mm. And, and so while you were with your mother, did you find yourself closing down truth with her? Did you find yourself not being able to express the truth to her? Well, I found that's what I normally do, just shut down and, and just let her go. Yep. And, but this time I sort of either stop her or interrupt her and say what I thought what you was happening. Good. And, and how did you find that? It was pretty pointless, wasn't it? Well, it's actually very volatile. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, but she she's completely more locked down than me. So, exactly. Um, she's um, um, a bit of, I suppose, but she tends to get angry and stay very calm sounding. So she's very angry, calm anger. Like many parents do this, like real calm anger. Like I'm calm, but but I really I'd like to kill you. <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah, or impose her opinion of it upon me. Exactly. In a very calm way, and then I'll react. I'll react by getting angry and yelling. Yep. I'll just keep this up. Okay. Um, so there was a lot of. Oh, she actually started getting a little more loud when I yes. kept insisting on interrupting what she was saying. Awesome. Mm, I thought so actually. Yeah, I very awesome. Yeah. But what actually happened inside of you was this. You came away feeling that it was pointless addressing any issue with your mother. That's the feeling that you had. And because your mother didn't validate your feelings, you now also feel that it's pointless addressing your own emotion. Does that make sense? So that's the feeling that you had that you came away from your mother with. This feeling that, well, mum's never gonna agree that, you know, that these things I'm saying are true. So if mum's never going to agree with it, what's the point? And, you know, are they even true? Do you know what I mean? I think it was more like it was, well, how can, something that, yes, you probably wouldn't. Yep. But that I wanted her to be able to. Yes, definitely. And, um... And what's the feeling that you wanted her to be able to address these issues, you tried addressing it with her, she just gets angry, the whole thing looks pointless. How did you then feel? Well, that... Her whole life's been like that, and that um, she's not going to listen to me um, telling her what I think she should do. So your feeling is I'm not being listened to by my mother. My mother doesn't care about what I'm feeling or going through. Can you see there's quite a lot of emotions that, that are there, but, but that you've come away feeling pointless about accessing yourself, I mean. Yes, I guess, and it's partly because I feel that she's so locked down, she's not going to be able to. Oh, I, yeah. But can you see what you're saying in this? You're actually saying that you're, you're not able to feel your feelings because she's so locked down. That's really what you're saying. And this is a childhood belief, actually, that you have. And I guess it's also that that she's more important and that, that um, I've got to try and help her have the realisations I've had um, before I can continue on. That's right. Um, so what's happening with your suppression of your emotion at the moment is you've got this layer, this layer of it. If mum doesn't want to do it or if mum doesn't agree with it, then what's, there's no point in me doing it. 
unless of you know unless I've got her doing it too sort of thing. There's this, but there's also this feeling, and I'm just trying to, I'm just feeling. Sometimes I have trouble actually stating the feeling in words. Mary's better at this than I am, but um, I'm feeling a feeling from you when, with regard to your mum, but I'm having a difficulty actually describing it. Um, mm-hmm. It's this feeling that. Um, it's a very childlike feeling that unless she agrees and approves, that it's not valid. I suppose I'm, she's sort of interfered in my life all my life. Yeah, I can imagine so. And um, usually I do things and could do them because I didn't tell my parents and therefore they didn't spend the next six months. Trying to get you to tell you not to do it. Yeah, basically, basically, or yeah. finding out I died and telling me I should have done it in one of 500 different ways. But not the way you did it. That's right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, um, but I suppose having the head-to-heads with it there, um, when I was there, it, was, it sort of made me feel like I had more of a, uh, a backbone. Yes, and this is why it was very good for you. It was good for you in one sense because you stood up for yourself with your mother for the really the first time in your life. Mm-hmm. Right. However, the part that wasn't so good is you came away with the feeling of this childhood feeling that you were not letting yourself get into, and that is this childhood feeling that unless mum approves of me doing it, then it's not valid. It's not real. It doesn't really make mm-hmm. any sense unless she approves. So that's that's underlying the feeling that I actually did quite well to. I sort of feel more like I'm my person, but I. That's other feelings underneath it. Yeah, what you're avoiding emotionally is this deep grief that for the majority of your life you've you've actually unknowingly done exactly what your parents want you to do, even though you've tried to do exactly the opposite. There's been this underlying emotion uh, there driving that uh, most of the decisions, looking for their approval and never having it. So there's this deep grief that mum's never going to approve of me. Mm. That you came away. Uh, from after spending two months with her, but not allowing yourself to feel. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? So allow yourself just mm-hmm. to drop into that feeling now. At the moment, it, it was good that you stood up to her because that, that means you're starting to have some self-worth, some self-love. But what needs to happen now is allow yourself to feel the grief that mum is never going to approve of you. There's something that, yeah, I'm trying to get because the way I'm saying it's not quite right. There's this feeling that that you have that um, mum, you are, as far as your mum is concerned, you're unlovable in her eyes. There is something intrinsically wrong with you that mum will never be able to love. I suppose that's just, I'm not good enough. Um, well, that, that's what drives the emotion of being not good enough, yeah. yeah. This is, it was the hat put on each of us as children. Like, I was the one who needed help all the time. And um, my brother was great and my sister. Yeah, you were, made, you were made to feel like no matter what you did, it was not going to be enough. Because even if I did manage to do what they wanted or said they wanted, they would still judge it negatively. Yeah, and that it wasn't done the right way. Or it wasn't, mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and while you're saying all of these things, I can feel you actually disconnecting from the emotion of it. Right? So what's actually happening right now even is that you are trying to keep, like while you're saying the words, you're having sort of the, so you're at the stage of intellectual realisation of what it's about, but still not letting yourself actually dive into the pool of the emotion of it. And that's the thing to pray about. Ask, ask God about helping you through this fear of getting out of the knowing what it's about and into the feeling what it's about. Right. Yeah. 